All right, totally out of context for my channel, but I've seen so many videos on taking these freaking taillight assemblies out, uh, and none of them worked for me, so here's what I did. I did some crazy BDSM junk with the shoelace. I wrapped the middle top around, tied a knot so it wouldn't slip down, and then I fed that shoelace through all the way crisscrossing over and then tied it and then I was able to pull uh, right hand here, left hand here and got it out. Hope this helps. It's a pain in the ass. I struggled with this for hours. All right, so after reviewing what I just filmed, I was about to upload that, but I realized it's not as clear as it could be. So let me try and elaborate and then I'll shoot another clip outside uh, when it's a little bit more light out so you can see. Um, but real quick, as a heads up, for those that are normally watching my channel, uh, this isn't the kind of stuff that I usually upload, and I don't plan on doing too much more of it. Uh, just, you know, a unique opportunity came up, and I figured I might as well share what I found out, because the other videos I'd seen didn't cover this, and, and I couldn't figure out how to do it. And uh, for those that aren't new to my channel, don't click around. You're not going to find more content like this. Sorry. Uh, but anyway... The problem is the taillight assembly for the 2018 model year Elantra, um, probably a few other adjacent years as well, I, I don't know. Uh, it's kind of a pain in the sea next Tuesday to get off because there are these two, three clips, three plastic clips that hold it on once you've got the two 10 millimeter bolts off and you have to slide the whole housing out towards the back of the vehicle, but there's nowhere to grip it unless you have the bumper off. But to get the bumper off, you have to remove the light because guess where the screws are. Anyway, I came up with this. I took a shoelace um, tied right in the middle. I tied a small loop about this big. The idea of this loop is we want to hook it on the edge of the uh, tail light housing. And the reason for the knot is because if you don't have a knot, the loop will just expand and then slip on and then you'll be gripping the one of the plastic clips that holds it on instead of the housing itself. So we want as small a loop as possible to slip it on the edge of the housing and then keep it there. Uh, this alone had worked for me last time when I was using a lanyard to get this off, uh, but unfortunately the shoelace was cutting into my hand and I couldn't get that working. Uh, but I found out I could do something with the rest of this lace. now. Um, as far as actually attaching it to the tail light, you gotta have it untied. Mine's in quite a bit of a tight knot because of how I was yanking on it, so I'll have to get this undone to show you. Uh, but more or less, we just wrap this onto the edge towards the front of the vehicle, and then take this along the back, uh, one strand on the top, one strand on the bottom, and then loop it around the other, the opposite side of the tail light, um, around, around and behind the molding that goes into the trunk. Uh, once you have the two 10 millimeter bolts off, there should be more than enough wiggle room to slip that in there. And then we take the uh, top strand, run it down towards the bottom and out the bottom, and then the bottom strand, run it towards the top and out the top. Tie them together and then you have something to grip. And uh, bear with me just a moment and we'll uh, cut to the vehicle and I'll show you exactly what I did. Right, so I have the shoelace, the loop, we just slip that on the end there. Once you have the bolts off, there's enough wiggle room. You can pull it taut, take one string, route it up and around. I'm gonna bring that all the way down. I don't have the bolts off right now. I already finished replacing it. I can bring it down, take the other string, do the opposite. And once you get them routed, there's enough uh, slack time together. There we go. Right hand here, left hand here, pull towards the back, the whole unit will come out. Hope this helps. I couldn't see anything else on the internet that uh, helped me get this thing out. I've seen plenty of videos, people just pull the thing out, but... I don't know how the heck you're supposed to grip this thing to pull it back. And I couldn't get it, and now I can't get my shoelace out. But that's my problem, I'll figure that out later. Thanks for watching.